Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And for our last thing, I'm going to show you how to deploy your website. Now, there's when you're doing just basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript websites, we're not doing any fancy backend server work. We're not um, really doing anything that needs anything beyond just sort of a, br a browser rendering our website. We can use this awesome service, Netlify. Netlify also offers a lot of really cool features for a price, of course. But for free, you can pretty much deploy any website and as many websites as you want. Uh, Netlify and, and the way it does it is amazing. It makes it life really easy. OK, so here you can kind of see some of the little mini projects that I've deployed using. Now, what you do, so now we have our my folder over, over open here in Sublime. I'm going to right click it. OK, I think if I click Find and Folder, it should open up. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, do, 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 folder, find a folder. Let me click on one of the files, right click CSS, open containing folder. Okay, that's what I want to do. Okay. So if I open the containing folder, it's going to open up my, you know, if you're on a Mac, a Finder on here, it's going to open up your Explorer on, on Windows or uh, File Explorer on Linux, depending which flavor of Linux you have. But it's all the same thing. Um, so what you want to do is, you want to drag the folder itself. So see teaching folder. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it right into here. And now I just give it like a minute and website's up. There you go. And then here's the URL to the website. So you can go put it on your portfolio. So if I click on that, ta-da! And then here's the website live online. And then I can click the button just like we did from the last video. And watch push me slowly fade away. Yeah, so getting your website up online and viewable is pretty easy, especially if you're this is the early stages and you're doing your portfolio. This is all front end, what's called front end work. Okay, it's basically all all the magic's happening in the browser. There's a whole world beyond that called back end. This is when um, you start getting into creating a database on a server somewhere else, and that database is maintained. Um, you have stuff that other stuff that goes on that database, and that database then makes the information available for you to display on your front end website. For that, you need a more sophisticated, uh, I mean, uh, you more sophisticated tools in a sense. It goes way beyond what we're doing here. You can do a lot with just this. Um, so you have a couple different options. Netlify has some options for providing you some back end support. You can use things like Linode, DigitalOcean, um, and other services that will provide you with hosting where you can pretty much do whatever you want on the backend server. And, and but again, that it gets a little bit more technical. There's also something called a headless CMS. Uh, a headless CMS would basically provide you with a database. You design you how your database looks like in their service, but instead of them giving you a website, because that's generally why people like what's called a CMS, a content management system like WordPress. Because when you use WordPress, you build a WordPress website. It does WordPress does everything for you. It builds the database. It builds the it has a website. So all you have to do is just kind of make it your own. You don't have to do as much coding, uh, server management, all that stuff's kind of baked into WordPress. Um, that's called the CMS, Content Management System. But nowadays, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with front with the front end. So people really want to have more flexibility in how they build the, the, the visuals of their website, but they still like some sort of service kind of managing that backend piece. And that's what this whole new era of what's called a headless CMS has. So what you could do is you could go that route and find a headless CMS. They, they're not, um, you can find some basic services for free, but then of course, like anything else, like as, as, your demand, as your needs grow, it's gonna get expensive. The cheapest way is always managing your own server, but also requires you to learn the most. Um, but basically what happens is that you would have all your database information in the headless CMS, and then the headless CMS would generate what's called an API. Uh, an API just means it's it's a, it's kind of like a way to get the information from the server. You would get that information from the server. Um, for that, you would you probably use a JavaScript library. Library jQuery has ways of getting the information from an API, so you could use jQuery to do that. Um, also, there's another popular library called Axios, and then JavaScript has its own built-in fetch method for grabbing that information. And then you would grab that information, which we really sent to you as literally a string. You would then turn it into usable information, job, uh, objects, arrays, whatnot, 
and then use that information to create new objects. So that's where all that DOM manipulation comes in because you're going to pull that information and then generate the website based on that information. So if you want to do like fancier stuff like making a blog or uh, something like that. Okay, so that's um, that's that's that wraps up this brief overview of kind of how to make a website, kind of how this, the, the goal here wasn't to sit there and turn you into an amazing web developer in a few videos, but to give you a pretty good idea of what tools you need, the tools that are available to you, how to use them so you can start really teaching yourself, start going into learning all those different CSS commands, getting familiar with editing HTML files, playing with JavaScript. So go watch my JavaScript 101 series but really kind of get you in the, in the habit of, of teaching yourself and learning to get better uh, and not being intimidated by these technologies because at the surface, they're not that bad. Um, it does take some work to really get to be good, but um, you know, you just got to dive in there and make the time and you'll be fine. So this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. Have a great day. Enjoy.